Alrighty. So we got Leyline Binding, a bunch of hand, a bunch of lands. Um just hope they draw like crap. This is kind of a crazy keep, just like two removal spells. I don't know. I guess their lands are kind of like um, spells in a way because of Dwarven Mind, but I don't know. Because they got three fat. They got. Tri Why didn't they play the Triumph out? Strange. Okay. I think we'll just play Den and play Dragon Rage Chandler. Depending on what we draw. Just a little land. No, let's just play out the Chandler. What you got, opponent? The next turn, we'll just play Cliffs. We'll probably pitch the heat in the, in the land. I am kind of worried about this matchup, but I think this is where Blood Moon should be good, right? I mean, I know they got they got ways to remove it. I don't know if this deck plays Force of Vigor in the board. Yeah, they don't have very many green cards, but they do play a lot of Counter Magic, and they play um, Besage You, I'm sh pretty sure. I, they have to play Besage You with Ren of Six, right? It just wouldn't make sense if they didn't. So, uh... But, yeah. Because that's the unfortunate thing. Even with Blood Moon, we can't really stop Ren and Six Besage you. But I wonder, we'll probably leave Dothy Voidwalker in. Okay, you get John Tryon. Um, I think, I, I imagine they have Sacred Foundry in their deck. So they can go fetch a Sacred Foundry, and then they have, they have Binding for one. Wooded Foothills. They just played another land we didn't know about. No, they had two wooded foothills. Oh my god, what a good one. Uh, if they down tick here, I'm going to heat in response. Kills Zoran, and I get my surveil. Surveil. Um, I'm going to put the bolt in the graveyard. I don't think we need that. Bolt's not very good against them. Okay. Just uh, pitch these two lands and draw two fresh ones. Not bad. Got land, creature, sorcery, instant. So we are delirious, which is nice. So they have Leyline Binding, Dwarven Mind, Raugwin, Rau, ah, Just Guy Triumph. <laughs> that I know about. So just a bunch of lands. Land I didn't know about. They have the trium in hand, so I don't I don't get it. What's with these upkeep stuffs, my guy? My person. Uh let's attack. And then I think we'll go Chandler Inquisition. I don't know what they're thinking about. You got home dog. <clears throat> there we go. All right. I don't know what they're thinking about so bad. Do you want to Prismari command this? Okay. Okay. Here we go. You can go fetch a. Yep. Sacred Foundry. Yep. <laughs> and then you're binding it. Binding it for two. Oh, I miss a blue. Okay. Sounds good. Play Chandler. Inquisition, you. Inquisition's nice because it can still hit creativity. Um, ah, I don't think I'm going to need to terminate. Big whiff for Rooney. They have another Leyline Binding. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. God, a Blood Moon would just absolutely destroy them. <laughs> they would just have absolutely nothing if I hit a Blood Moon here. Okay, they play Stomping Ground. They're just going to Binding this to Sorcery Speed? Okay, sure. Because they don't want me to get any more surveils. All right. 
I know about two lands in their hands and one mystery card. Blood Moon. Moon. Ugh. Do I want... I get the... I'll, I get the draw an extra card off of this this way, so I think I'll do it this way instead of getting the token. Maybe getting the token's right. But, uh... What do you got on top? They have an Archon on top. Okay. I'll see what's underneath the Archon after they draw. What do you hit, like a Bolt or something? They only have one Black Source right now, too, so they're pretty far away from the, from the Archon. I don't know what they're tanking on. My opponent likes to tank. Okay. Yes, I'll draw. Terminate, not bad. And I'll bobble them in steps, see what else they got. Unless they got a fetch land here. They don't have a fetch land in hand that I know about. These are the three that we know about. Okay, they played the Dwarven Vine. You got a 1-1. One, one. Did you draw to creativity? Wow. Oh, no, okay. Cycle, tryo. Okay, fetch land. Sure. Uh, what do they got on? I just want to draw a card. They have a creativity on top. Okay. <sighs> One turn too late. Okay. Attack. I really need them to block. Are they going to double block? Please double block. They shuffled away the creativity. Okay. If they block. If they double block, I think I might just terminate the other one. You know what? I'm actually super okay with this trade. Yep. Because I'm just going to slam a Blood Moon. Um, and go from there. Okay. Like, their deck is just really, really bad against this card. Like, they have, like, a lot of red spells, but now, like, they really need, like, Fable. Fable's a card that gets them out of this. Yeah, I'll just take the two tokens. Because there's no way I'm in hell I'm casting these. Oh, they hit me with the salty dot, 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 too. Incredible. Oh, they drew another uh, <laughs> Archon. <laughs> uh, the salty dot, dot, dot. You got to love it. It's my favorite. Uh, I'll dash. Hey. Look at that. My opponent with the salt. Okay. I'm just going to heat this end step. I'll dash. Hit a bolt. Um, I know they have Archon, Archon. Um, what's Night Swiss? Oh, yeah. I'll Night Swiss for land. Do I want to take a look? I know two of them are Archon. Uh, I guess I'll look. I'll take the red and six, sure. Okay, so they have two Ar Archons in hand. If they hit exactly creativity here, they could pitch the two Archons. They pitched one Archon on the Wooded Foothills. Oh, they came in. Yeah, so there we go. Blood Moon, very good against them. <laughs> they even hit me with the salty dot, 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 which is just beautiful. All right, what's kind of bad? Um, I 
don't like Lily. I don't really like Squee. These are all kind of grindy cards. I think we can cut the push as well. And then, um, hmm. I don't mind the Terminates because sometimes we can just beat a resolved Archon and I'll trim a Bolt. And then Orvar's our hot tech. Opponent with the dot 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 is my favorite. My favorite. Oh, man. I felt good. I felt like what we wanted to do, right? I think they had a bad keep, to be honest with you, but, you know, what you going to do? What you going to do? Mm, this hand is sketch. I kind of love it, though, so <laughs> I just want I want to do this so bad. This is probably a terrible keep, but. You, sometimes you just got to have fun, you know? Sometimes you just have to have some fun. Who knows? Maybe I'll just draw land right here. Nope. Let's just thought seize him. Do you have a Veil Summer or a tourist, uh, whatchamacallit? Explore, explore, fable. I think I'll just take one of these fables. Two is going to be hard to deal with. I'll take a look right now. They don't really play discard. They got a Prism Mari on top. Um, okay. This will be their hands beginning to turn unless they fetch. I really just need a second land. Okay, so they don't have the Prismari because they fetched it away. So they'll probably explore. Probably play Mountain Explorer. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We got our hand in the cookie jar, fam. Yeah, there's the Explorer. Two mystery cards. They'll probably play out at the Scalding Tarn that I know about. Nope, they play out a different one. Okay, well. Oh, very skilled. Um, I think I'll hold up Terminate for a, uh, whatchamacallit. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, for a dwarf token. Okay, they played the Tarn, and now they're going to fetch, fetch, play the Fable? No. Okay. Um, I'll just... Let's Night Whisper try to hit a land. There you go. Play out the Monkey. If they if they creative me, I'm going to get got. Maybe I should have left a Bolt to try to Bolt one of these Dwarves. But what you going to do? So if they creative me here, I will discard Bolt first, and then Orvar, because they're going to do it for two. Or never mind, because they, they didn't fetch the Dwarven Mine a second time. <coughs> okay. So now they can only... Unless they have another fetch land, they can only creativity for X equals one. So if they play fetch land, X equals two. What you got? Two mana. Two red mana, specifically. There we go. Okay, are they going to creativity for X equals 2? Um, nope, explore. Okay. Man, they played three explorers? That's a lot. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. <clears throat> yep. Discard. Um, I'll discard the bolt. Oh, my God. <laughs> What did I just do? What did I just do? I have it in my hand. And I just misclicked. Oh my god! I'm just dumb. I'm just dumb. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at my top card. It's a bobble. I will. I'll fetch that one away. I'll just get a basic. All right, shame, shame. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. I'm gonna won this game by a mile. Holy cats, that was bad. Well, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Am I right? Sometimes you just get got. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sure they played this turn right now. Do you have another one? Oh my god, that was so bad. That was hilarious. I got land, instant, creature, sorcery, yeah. 
Okay, perfect. We can redeem ourselves over our... Copy that one. No. That's fine. Get that. Okay, they're empty. Let's just play two three threes. Yeah, well thought seeds looks bad now. <coughs> this helps stop this from attacking. Um, <clears throat> hopefully they don't hit another persist. I didn't know they're on persist. They ditched the land. This is a lot of aggression. They cycle the land. I can't believe I just totally, totally out to lunch on the... <laughs> Uh, maybe I should have played the land. That was a mistake. I'm just like, I'm still kind of like in awe of my mistake. <clears throat> All right, let's try to try to win. I believe. I mean, this, these, uh, they hit a binding. What? Sure. Um, if they do have the combat, I'll just bolt this. Beginning of combat. Yep. Fetch shock. Yes. Bolt that one. I'll Blood Moon them. <laughs> yeah, sure. This, like, turns off basically all their spells, except for... I guess they they could still creativity through it, but... <clears throat> uh, I will trade, because you have the card creativity, which turns the stupid token into a 6-6 six, six flying death monster, so... I will snap that trade off. Okay, that one's annoying, but the... The moon's going to stop it. They're just cycling? Yeah. I guess it doesn't stop that. That's still pretty good. Let's moon them. Put that in the graveyard. Put that in the graveyard. Let's just try to kill them. Um, how do I kill the red and six? Let's try to kill them. I still got some bolts in my deck. I still got two bolts. We draw a bolt. We can kill them next turn. They might have another removal spell, but it turns these off. <coughs> you know, if they rip a creativity, you know, I lost the game, so that's fine. They've only used one, so it's not that unlikely that they find another. Yeah, that'll probably do her. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have a whole lot of draws. I got Terminates. I got Unholy Heat. Heat? Oh. No, we're just dead. All right, that was close. I think we got the Blood Dune down earlier. We might have had a better chance. Uh, also, if I didn't fuck up the Orvar thing. <laughs> that was pretty embarrassing. That was pretty bad. Oh, uh, I wonder if I want this third terminate. Um, I don't know. What I even played over? Over the Night's Whisper? I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, eh, I don't know. Now let's just leave it. I still, I'm just so tilted that I messed up the horror part. Man, I would have been able to attack. I probably would have won that game if I didn't just, like, completely punt. I don't know why my brain was just stuck in, like, they're going to creativity for two mode. Oh, 
man. <sighs> should I play another Terminator or just Bolt? I should... I'm on the play. Let's just leave it. <laughs> that was funny. What a punt. Because, like, I'm trying to remember the game state, but they had one other creature, so they would have sacked their dwarf or whatever. I think they had one other creature. And then I think they were tapped out, so I would have been able to swing in, kill theirs, make them discard a card. I don't know how many cards, but I know they play to persist the next turn. I don't know. It's just a huge punt. I would have been able to, like, basically deal them nine extra damage, and they died. <sighs> Mulligan. All right, this is much better. Let's keep and we'll throw back. Throw back a land, I guess. Let's uh, just play turn one monkey and hope it goes the distance. <sighs> I would love to actually like have a Blood Moon in my opening hand one of these games, but what are you going to do? If I draw a Blood Moon next turn, maybe I should have bobbled as another card to deck for Blood Moon. I just got to get my opponent to a uh, salty dot 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 this game. That's... They have a Bolt? You just got nothing? Ran at six. Creativity, close. Cast a bobble. I'll bobble myself, see if I want to fetch. Okay, yeah, I'll fetch. Um, yeah, I'll fetch right now. I'll just fetch a tap land. Tapped. Nope. Okay. I won't leave up heat in case they uh, cast a random six. I suspect they have a random six. Uh, I would have loved the Inquisition last turn. Don't random six me, dog. I do feel like their deck is just like so. Like I, most of these games, they haven't had a random six going since turn two, and I think that's why we've been doing pretty well too. Because like I think I think their deck is just so much better, so much unbelievably better when they have a random six on two. And maybe my opponent was tanking here by playing it. This looks like a six. Ran in six. Yeah, okay. That was hard. I always wonder what's up with these plays when they're like, well, just heat it right now. What should we do? <laughs> it's a toughie. That's a pretty nice one. I think I'll hold on to that. Let's inquisition them. Let's take the other Ren of six. Okay, they can't. They don't have the means to creativity me. Because this is not a mountain. So they play the Mesa. Yep. Um, I will hold the land. Because if I draw something else I want to discard next turn, I don't want to discard the Orvar. We're both just sitting here in a whole new pattern. That's fine. Ooh. Ah, oh, they have a bolt. Let's just play this out. I would normally like the Voidwalker, but I think they'll just bolt it immediately. Because if I get to copy it and then get to get another Archon, that'd be sick. But, okay. I don't think I want to run out the Thought Seize right now. I guess I could take the Creativity, but... We'll see. I kind of want to void walker and then thought sees. That sounds awesome. Oh, Archon me, please. Do it. I dare you. These are the three we know of. Bolt, Creativity, Besage you. And this person just loves to just run these out against two twos. It's an aggressive ley line binding, but you know what? I get it. Um, 
Let's attack. I guess I'll blow my treasure on uh, trying to avoid Walker or Thoughtseize. They'll probably just bolt it in response, but... Might get something cool under it for future ones. Yeah, I'm going to bolt it. Yep. Bolt's exiled. What else you got? Spell Pierce. Archonic Cruelty. I think I'll actually take the Spell Pierce. They're still, like, not going to creativity me. They still can't. And I could take it next turn with the next Thought Seize. I definitely do not want to take the Archon. Don't want to take that one. They're just not going to play out the Spaseju. Okay, they hit Explore. Okay. And now I just take their creativity. Or do I let them do it? No, nah, I should probably take it, huh? Because they're taking creativity for two. It's just such a, such a beating. All right, thought sees. This is where I took the spell pierce, took the creativity. They have Besaju and Archon. Now this card kind of looks dumb, but like if they just ever top deck, how much would call it? Okay, they're not blocking. Uh, I'll fetch. Do I want to get another swamp? Uh, just in case I draw a blood moon, sure. Land lets me activate this. Okay, it's attack. They are just terrified of Blood Moon, huh? What you got? What's on top? Creativity. Well, <laughs> okay. All righty. Game plan into action. They're going to attack first. Fine. Who cares? Are they just going to wait to creativity for X equals 2? They're, they are, huh? Um, should I fire up the den? Or should I play this? Let's fire up the den. Let's put as much pressure as possible on them. Oh, I have to pay a red for this. Hopefully they don't have a removal spell. I know it, like... Oh, no, it's just 3. Let's try to force them where they have to blow it. I, I think I think putting them under much pressure as possible. Like I want them to use this card now. I don't want them to, to wait till they can draw a land to do it for X equals two. And also the second card is nice because if they if they go for X equals two, then um I discard this first and then this second. Okay. <sighs> Lame. Okay, so they're going to do it for X equals 2. I'm going to go discard Dragon Rage Channeler, discard Orvar. Okay, first trigger. Sack. Discard. Just don't draw the thing. Sack. Discard. Copy. Now, they can ley line their own in response. I'm surprised they didn't. If they have the binding. Right, if they have the binding, I'll just bind my own response and you're just dead. So I just know about Besaju. I really hope I get to attack with this. Don't ley line bind me, dog. attack wow just dead you're just dead okay Orvar's busted this card's sweet <laughs> oh my god dude Orvar is just an absolute beating against this deck nice dot 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 indeed <laughs> Oh, that felt good. That felt good. This deck's, this deck's fun. <laughs> Orvar's sick. Whoever came up with that tech, 
genius. Super genius. That is just like a scouring the internet on Scryfall, looking for just some hot, hot tech. And I love it, to be honest. I love it. I'm a big fan. All right. Well, um, I'll try to finish up this video tonight or over the weekend and uh, get this one up by next week. But uh, that was that was a fun one. That was a fun one. Probably only went two games, so I didn't punt the Orvar thing in game game two. But uh, what are you, you going to do, right? But uh, that matchup, which I thought would be bad, felt really good with the Blood Moons and the Orvar. I feel like I feel like you're definitely definitely doing things you want to do. Um, hopefully, we can run into Rhino, see how we do there. Because uh, it's kind of funny that Rhinos used to be a Blood Moon deck, and now they just kind of get mooned. I know that they play Force of Vigor, but we'll see. All right, cool. Until next time.